on signs in your life, or signs of abuse, I call them potential signs. You know, because there's some kids who just don't take care of themselves and wear the same outfit every single day in camp. If you're not looking carefully to make sure you check their, check their paper that they actually changed, you have kids who wore the exact same outfit for the entire camp, and it wasn't because their mother didn't pack all the clothing, it's just because they were, you know, in, in Venice Row, in Venice Row. Okay, so how, you know, when there is somebody who actually does come to you, you're in that, in that moment, and the camper can come quickly and take the flyers are next to Chaya, please. A youth leader who's often in a position of trust. Now we're up to the last part. How do we respond? And this is probably the most important part. Everything about a child's disclosure, and that's what Mushu was asking when a child is actually going to be in that camp setting and start to decide to share something with you. You might be the first person to share it with, you might not be. Everything about that moment is so, so, so crucial. In the moment, it's hugely crucial because how you choose to respond to it might make the difference, ultimately the difference, like a capital the, whether they're ever going to share it again with somebody else, whether they're going to feel comfortable and be able to trust people in the future. This might have been two weeks of working at the courage to talk to somebody, or maybe even two years of working at the courage to talk to somebody. They finally found somebody they trust, and they, the response that you're going to give them in this short conversation might be having a long conversation, it might not be in a convenient time, it might be in a crazy moment, and you like totally didn't expect it, but you need to really know how to respond that whatever she's telling you, you're going to be able to support her properly and ultimately be able to support her family properly and in the long run give her that empowerment that there's people out there who can help her and that you trust her. So we're going to go through these three points here. Okay, there's three on this side, there's another two on the other side, and this is general rules. And before we start any of them, it's so important for all of us to know, I'm not a psychologist. Maybe some of you have studied more psychology than I have. I know that even though as much as we become more and more familiar with these things, we go through different types of training, I don't really know how to deal with these issues. They're bigger than me. There's Jewish Task Force and lots of other amazing organizations and people in the school system, out of the school system, that do know how to deal with the issues. The only thing I can really do is take this child from the minute that they disclose something to me and guide them by the hand, literally, and we're going to go through those steps of how to be able to get them the help they need. And there's going to be important steps in that process, such as not making any promises you can't keep, things that you need to know about yourself. But you definitely cannot expect, and don't feel overwhelmed and have to worry about it, but you're going to know the answers to fix their lives. You're going to know the responses to really make sure that whatever does or doesn't exist in their mind and heart is real or isn't real. You don't have to decide if it's real. All that we need to know is how to support the kid from whatever they've disclosed to us. Okay, so we're going to start with number one. I just want to add something that three years ago in camp, there was a camper, a grade six camper from Sydney who did disclose to her staff that she was being sexually abused by her stepfather. She'd never told anyone in her whole life. And they had to know, like, suddenly on the spot how to deal with her. In the end, after camp, we did a lot and we took her to the task force and we got her in touch with numbers, but it can happen any time, any place. So just be aware this is real. This can really happen. Task force here. So we're going to take a pause. I'm